Back. We're celebrating those who serve here on 12 News, and tonight we want to introduce you to a man who took an unusual career path in the Army and wound up serving with some of the finest men and women in the military. Aaron Dudney now uses his experience over there to help service members and their families over here. When he's not overseeing the information technology systems at Palo Verde, the nuclear power station just outside of Phoenix, Aaron Dudney is busy with his woodworking projects. Um, it's all quarter sawn oak. His craftsmanship is something that would make even a seasoned contractor marvel. Did all the d drawers, they're hard uh, inside the hard maple, all dovetailed. A skill he started to hone as a construction worker in his youth. When the construction jobs started to dry up around 1980, he needed something else to make ends meet. I just happened to be walking by a little strip mall and it was like, there's the be all you can be sign from the U.S. Army. So Aaron took the plunge, hoping to serve for a few years and learn some new skills. But it turned into a, a career. It turned into a lifetime I and mean, I fell, fell at home. As an Army Ranger, Aaron served with some of the country's finest soldiers. Years later, that experience led him to help develop a veterans group for his employer, APS. We put this program together so that veterans of APS could come together, collaborate, find shared um, activities that we could actually volunteer and help the community at large. His group partners with the group Honoring America's Veterans to put on the annual Veterans Day Parade in Phoenix. It's more than just a parade. I mean, it's really, it's really a coming together of veterans and families. His 20 years of service has given Aaron the skills to help lead others who've served through the challenges that come with life after service. And service is something he thinks everyone should at least consider. If they have the opportunity to go through the military, it's a good opportunity to learn if nothing else, that um, it'll put you, things in perspective the rest of your life. Well, after the parade was canceled last year because of COVID, Aaron tells us this year's Veterans Parade is going to be twice as spectacular. 12 News is honoring the courage, dedication, and sacrifice of those in our armed forces. And we want to share the stories and photographs of those veterans who are closest to you. To submit your Those Who Serve stories and photos for a chance to be featured, go to 12news.com slash those who serve.